Uh, our next activity, so today, and that ended up taking a lot of time on Monday, longer than I thought, to go through people's hypotheses, which is totally cool. So I want to have a, a significant amount of time that I can go through those individually with you guys. But first I want to talk about what you, what's going to be delivered, what will, you will submit next week. Cool? So your mentor, mentor, your, your group or individual mentor agreement, if you have somebody other than me, uh, that you're working with another faculty member, uh, another uh, external partner, that's going to be due next week in class. And those are individualized. And if you guys do it in a group, you guys there, there's a there's a group um, group one to fill out. Or if you're just by yourself, there's just a, an individual version to fill. Out. They're basically the same thing, just with more people's names on it or less. Get that guy filled out. Uh, but what I want to spend most of our time uh, is by way of preparation today talking about is our schedule. So this is um, what's going to be due next week, and this is um, something you've probably been thinking about up to now, but you'll definitely be thinking about it between now and next week. And this is, uh, Monica, you want to see? Excuse me. So, uh, so okay. So, the calendar. This is definitely something you want to be thinking about um, over the next week, and you need to put a lot of time into this. So, again, capstone is really individualized. We we don't have this highly structured this thing on this day and do this thing because everybody's going in different directions, etc. Um, but you absolutely must create your schedule. You must stay on your schedule. The number one reason, or the number one way people get stressed out and freaked out in the end of the semester, and, uh, 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 um, when, when we have a debrief, it's because people didn't stick to their schedule, or they got distracted, or some crisis came up and they couldn't, you know, whatever it is. But the point is they didn't hit their targets. You guys uh, know yourselves better than I or we know you, and so different things work for you guys. Um, first, let me talk about um, what the schedule is going to be. So uh, this is, I emailed it to you guys, but also this is on our Google Drive. So the, there's a Google version of this, you guys can just go and, and manipulate, it's probably the easiest thing to do. Um, and so we have here is we have an example tab and then the one that you can fill out. So let me just start talking about the example tab. So this is uh, from now, and so I, let me be clear. So this schedule is for now to the, to graduation. So from now till May is what you're making the schedule, uh, your schedule for. Uh, now, obviously, spring break, if we look at Christmas break there, uh, that's sort of a blackout period. I assume you guys aren't going to do work over Christmas, right? The actual Christmas holiday in the week or so around there, right? And that's cool. You can breathe and sleep for a little teeny tiny bit. Um, uh, your goal is to be done with data collection come spring break. If you can finish data collection earlier, great. but. But that, that's uh, primary data collection over. Now, one of the misconceptions that you guys have, that I had when I was in your shoes, that everybody tends to have, is we're used to reading our papers that say introduction, and then methods, and then results, and then analyses. And sometimes we get trapped into thinking that, that is, those are the steps of, of doing the scholarship. And sometimes that, those are the steps. Those are the traditional classic steps. Rarely, though, do we follow the, that exact pathway, particularly in a case like Capstone where we have limited time, right? So if we live to be 1,000 years old, sure, we could collect data for three years, not look at the data, and then at the end of the three years, look at it. And we're like, oh, we want to be really objective. We don't want to bias our results or you know, that kind of stuff. But that just we just don't have that amount of time. So what I've done here on this calendar or this, this, this timeline or schedule, whatever you want to call it, um, is I've color coded stuff. So you look, if you look off to the right, and this is for some some random Kevin Gomez and is doing something about a local coastal plan, right? So this is just a generic example of something to show you guys. Uh, the categories that are primarily related to data collection, I've colored orange. The stuff that's primarily related to interpretation and analysis of that data is blue. The first thing I want you to notice, it doesn't go orange, 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 orange to here, and then suddenly switch to blue. It's orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue. It's striped, right? So what I mean by that is, 
Obviously, you guys are now in sort of the exploratory phase. You're trying some stuff out. You're experimenting with how this works. Let me try how the, how the robot works. Let me try some of my uh, pilot, some of my questions to ask people, whatever the case may be, right? And that's cool. And you're adjusting, you're tweaking. Partly, you're, you're looking to see um, what the best way to collect the data is, right? Partly you're, you're doing this to sort of get a sense of what the data distribution will be like. Oh my God, am I going to get a lot of tall people that answer my question? Am I going to get a lot of short people? Is it going to be really, and logistically, is it going to take me 17 hours to get one question answered? Or is it going to take me 17 seconds to get one question answered? Right? So you're, you're scoping it out and that's appropriate. But, but once, we, once you form, we exit that period and we start to decide, ah, yes, this is, this is the survey, this is the transect method I'm definitely going to use. And this is the criterion for scoring the cones or whatever the case is. Then I'm then I'm good to go, right? So at that point, I want to start to collect some data. And what I'd like you guys to avoid. So so the the biggest problem with analyses that most of you guys have a problem with is again time constraint, and you end up talking about your data very simplistically. So there were 27 cones on average on this this treatment, and there were. 13 cones on average on that treatment, right? Which is good, that's good data, but it's maybe not as sophisticated as, as it could be, right? Much better to say, yeah, there's 27, on average, there's 27 cones on that uh, category of tree, 13 uh, cones on that category of tree, and turns out they varied by lunar cycle, you know, or something like that, right? And you're gonna do this additional context, contextualization, explaining data value added type stuff. What typically happens is when people run out of time, they barely get their data entered by their deadline, and all they do, they, they, they barf out summary statistics, right? Is that wrong? No. Is that sophisticated and scholarly? No, right? It's better to get, get more in-depth analysis. So the way you can help yourself is I get this data, and I'm going to start to do some preliminary analysis. Full analysis, no, but I'm going to start to say, hey, which trees are the tallest? Which schools are the most are the most uh, environmental friend, environmentally friendly. What is the income of the folks that live around this park? You know, that kind of stuff, right? So granted, you're gonna have to redo the analysis when you have the complete data and all those, those caveats, but you're starting to get a sense. So if I bump into you, the, you know, over winter break, right? And I say, you know, hey Natalie, or hey whoever, uh, what's your stuff looking like? The answer should be, well, I'm still working on it. But it's, it's kind of interesting. It's looking like blah, blah, blah is higher than blah, 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 right? You should be starting to get a sense of that. And so, and that also means entering the data into your final analysis form, getting it all prepped, getting it all in. In other words, we're not waiting till the last week and then suddenly starting to type stuff in that's gonna take you days and 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 days of typing. But you kind of know, oh, I know that this, this treatment tends to be higher than that. I know that this, this aspect tends to produce this effect, that kind of stuff. So that by the time we get to the end of the final, final data, you're already primed and you're already good to go and you have a qualitative feel for how the patterns that are emerging in your data and you can knock that part out pretty quick and get on to the more interesting, more sophisticated analyses. Cool? So, uh, now what I've done here is I've so that the, to the right is the sort of gross gross period gross uh, category of what I'm doing. But what I've also done is I've come in and I've said okay here's week ten and this is the Monday day of that week October 29th etc. I'm going to be creating my first three maps. Maybe this is a GIS based project let's say. Week uh, the, the next week I'm making my fourth map blah, 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 and it's all it's all spelled out there right. Now if it's just me. In my group, I'm just that's what I'm gonna do. If I'm in my group, obviously I want to I want to coordinate with my buds and say, okay, I'm planning on doing this, and you're gonna be doing that, right? So it should be it should be integrated, right? Should be should be lined up with your your overall group's progress and stuff. Um, and this is what you're gonna turn into me next week. So your 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 draft schedule, okay? And we can talk about it and look over it, and I can give you some feedback. Let me make this. I want to build into here flub time because you will get a cold or you are going to get a flat tire or whatever the, the going to the island, there's going to be a storm and you can't get out to the island, right? So we want to build that as much as possible into this. So some extra cushion. So when we do have a, 
a temporary setback or whatever, it doesn't completely nuke us, right? It doesn't completely throw us off our track. Um, now I should say this schedule is built from the back first. So this schedule is built from our deadlines. The very, very end of this, of, and now I'm talking next spring, or, or end of next spring semester. So at the very end, you guys are going to turn in your thesis. So that's obviously the last thing you turn in. But before that, you guys will present at our SAGE symposium. That used to be our mother load main activity. We've gotten too big for that. So we'll still do it. It's still fun. It's still good for you guys to go through that experience of being at a, at a, at a meeting. But we were coming to overly dominate that meeting, and it was being a little bit uncool. So instead, so excuse me, in addition, I should say to that, we also will have a thing a couple days beforehand, haven't decided yet, probably on the Thursday beforehand, um, an evening <coughs> session where, where we're going we're gonna to present your posters and you're going to be assessed by somebody other than me. County supervisors, National Park Service scientists, uh, uh, you know, consultants, all these different people we invite in. So that's... So that, everything has to be done, right? Because that's your poster, that's your result, that, that's what's going on. That, even if you're in a group, you will be doing your own individual poster, even if you are in a group, okay? And so, <coughs> excuse me, that, that poster is essentially driving our timeline. So if you look right here, uh, this is my estimate of the date, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see if that's right, but the final one is due on this date. We have to revise it, we do the first draft, you know, this and that, so stuff is kind of coming up. And so therefore, we have to be done with our data collection by spring break. And, and, and so, that, so everything's sort of working back from that deadline, basically, that sort of end of, end of spring deadline. Um, so this is the template you guys can use. So if you guys are just, if you guys are just by yourself, you could delete you know, D through G, let's say, of this, and it's just you. If you guys are in a group though, you might have an overall group thing you're working on that week and then you yourself, you have some specific responsibilities. And so what are those? So, you, so if you guys are in a group, you'll turn, it, you'll turn in a single unified calendar to me, noting both your group name but also your individual name so I can track who's, who's where. And you guys will upload this to our Google, to the, a folder on Google Drive. That's by the start of next class. Cool? Now, let me say something about this. You guys need to do whatever works for you. And so look at me. I'm really, really, really serious about this. You need to stay on your schedule. So I don't know what works for you. Some of you guys, electronic calendar works well. Then put, once, you, once we get this agreed upon and we have some, and we're good, you should type each of these deadlines into your calendar, right? Maybe that doesn't work for you. Maybe you're a paper calendar person. Cool. Maybe you're a tape the note to the refrigerator person. Maybe you missed that. Maybe you need to put it on, the, on your bathroom mirror, right? I don't care. But whatever it is, you need to make sure that you are holding yourself to your schedule because that is the number one way you guys fall behind and get stressed out and get worried and then chaos ensues, right? So I'm trying to help you guys not be chaotic, right? I'm trying to take that stress level as much as we can, down. And so being more organized, being more, uh, being aggressive, but realistic with our schedule, right? That's gonna help us. Okay, so uh, my son, we were out at Santa Cruz this weekend with his Boy Scout troop. Um, and uh, before I was in Alaska, I got back a couple hours and then I got on the boat, but um, uh, apparently the conversation that happened in my house on Friday before, when I wasn't there was my son was like, oh yeah, I gotta stay up really late and get all my, this, some homework thing he had done, right? My wife was like, nah, dude, you gotta go to bed. I was like, no, I gotta get this homework done. And so they had a, you know, parental disagreement. Um, and so then we were coming back on the late boat on Sunday night. My son was like, oh my God, I'm so tired, but I gotta stay up and do all this, you know, homework, oh my God, you know. And so we, you know, get some dinner and we're heading home and I'm like, well, you just got to get it done. He's like, yeah, I know. And we get home and he starts working on his homework. My wife's like, dude, you got to go to bed. It's super late. And he said, no, I got this homework to do. And my wife said, because I'm stupid. So I had to like, yeah, you got to do your homework. And my wife said, what homework is due? 
And he said, oh, I got like this whatever chemistry test and I got this thing or whatever. And she goes, oh, really? That chemistry test is tomorrow's on Monday? And he went, yeah. And then my wife said, are you sure? And he went, wait. And he went and checked. And oh, no, it's Wednesday. So yeah, that's cool. Go to bed, right? So, so my son is someone who is always like, oh my God, I got this done. I want to get it done, right? And so that's a, that's a good tendency, but sometimes we can kill ourselves with that totally aggressive thing, right? So, so it's, a, it's a tough balance. I want you guys to be aggressive. I want you to get this stuff done as early as you can so you have more time to analyze. Do it as early as you can cool. so if you do have a, a trip up, you're not totally knocked out of the contention. But again, it shouldn't be you guys trying to get everything done in one week. So let's, let's do be realistic with that. Cool. Questions? No questions. Okay, so then uh, what I wanna do is a little exercise now. So, um, hmm. we have a lot of people in this section. So, uh, mostly groups of four, but a couple of us are maybe groups of five, just because we have a couple extra folks. Around. So I want you guys to, so if you're not, if you're not in a group of four, uh, s scooch over so you guys are in a group and, uh, and do that first. So, so merge with a, merge with a group. If you guys are lone floaters. Okay, and what I want to do is we're going to have a, a conversation for a minute with you guys. Introduce yourselves to everybody. If you don't know who's everybody in your group, introduce yourselves. And then, and then I want you guys to, to talk to each other about what your biggest problem with scheduling uh, is either in general or you think it's going to be over the next uh, 